Oh my gosh. Today we are going to be discussing all the books that I own and haven't read yet. It's the middle of the year and I've only read six books. So I'm hoping this video will be a little helpful in maybe the motivation in helping me read because I own all these books. Why haven't I read them yet? Y'all no say. Let's just get started. The Adventure is Now by Jess Redman. I remember getting this book in North Carolina at the end of last year and it sounded so much like Journey to the Mysterious Island and Jumanji. It's a middle grade book and I haven't gotten into any of those so I figured maybe I pick it up and read it and I haven't yet, but it looks like it would be an easy read and fun. Look at the cover. Next is The Rule Book by Sarah Adams. I didn't know she came out with a new book and when I saw this on the shelf, I had to grab it. I think I actually got like 35 pages in, to be honest. I was just in a slump, so I didn't really like read it, but I love her books, love her writing. I'm sure I will end up loving this. Next is It Only Happens in the Movies by Holly Bourne. I recently purchased this in the last video that I posted. It is a young adult book. Don't know like anything that is about. I also really enjoy young adult books, but I just don't own a lot of them, so. Okay, next. We All Looked Up by Tommy Walsh. So I totally forgot I owned this book, but I was looking at my shelf, picking out books to, you know, go over, and I saw this and I was like, oh, forgot I had that. I don't really know what this is about. I think it's like the end of the world is happening, and they're like a bunch of teenagers or something. I remember I got this like years ago. This was, I probably got this when this book came out in 2015. Yeah, I believe it. Also, I haven't heard anything about that book like ever. If you read it, let me know what you think. Okay, next is Not In Love, uh, another recent purchase that I got in my last video. Love Ali Hazelwood, don't know what this book is about. Heard it's very different from what she usually writes. Um, excited to get into it. I honestly think this is gonna be my next read, to be honest. Red Rising. Uh, by Pierce Brown. Yeah, let me tell you something about this. I haven't read it because I don't got the mental capacity, I don't think. You know what I mean? I don't know if I have that right now. I don't have that that brain right now. Uh, maybe later. I just want the little light reads right now. But I obviously got it because I heard it's a great book. And I'll get to it one day. <gasps> the Song of Achilles. So many great things I heard about this. Madeline Miller, I'll get to you real soon, I promise. I honestly don't have an excuse for not reading this yet. Hopefully I get to it soon. And I want to hop on the bandwagon of just loving this and making this your entire personality. Like so many people have tattoos based off this book. I want to love this book that much. Although I would never get a tattoo. Next. Oh, I think this is perfect for summer. The Summer Broken Rules by K.L. Walther. Yeah, I was supposed to read this last summer. That didn't happen. Oops. I don't really know what this is about, but I haven't heard bad things about it. Literally this whole video is just t me telling you guys I don't know what any of these books are about. Oh, The American Roommate Experiment. Honestly, I don't even know if this is on my TBR anymore. I don't know why it's in this video. I have no motivation to read this book whatsoever. I remember the Spanish love deception being really long. I feel like this is gonna be the same type of vibe. Maybe I'll like check on the reviews and see if it's like worth it. Let me know if you like this book. I really wanna be intentional with my reads. Like I wanna read books that like I really think I'm gonna like and I don't have that feeling towards this. All right, Five Survived by Holly Jackson. Eight hours, six friends, five survived. Oh, wow. Ooh, I like. I haven't heard much about this book in particular, but I know she wrote a, like, a Good Girl's Guide to Murder, and I haven't read that series either, but I know like there's so many people that love that series. I also think this is Young Adult, if I'm not wrong. Oh, it starts off strong. Oh, we read Queen. Victoria Avear. 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 This is one of those OG uh, young adult books. Like OG. 2015. Yup. Yup. I did hear good things about this recently too. But I really haven't been in the fantasy mood lately. We'll see. I'm in more of like the literary fiction type mood. Like that's what I'm into right now. All right, next. The Invisible Life of <laughs> Adi Laurie LaRue. V.E. Schwab. This is one of those has, that's just been like collecting dust since I got it. I don't even know if this is on my physical TBR because it's like the same thing as I feel for like the American Roommate Experiment. I want to be excited to read books and this is not one of the books I'm excited to read. I honestly hear mixed reviews about it though because I hear some some reviews that it's like this is such a good book and others that's like why did I just read it so. I also heard that it's like slow in the beginning and I, like I said I don't know if I got the mental capacity for that right now. Next is this series. This is a series 
Um, I already read the first book. I want to continue the series. I didn't even like the first book. I don't know why I want to continue the series. I think it's because I heard the third book is like really good. Yeah, I want to get to this eventually. I feel like it'll be one of those books that just, it'll feel good to just cross off the list. Like I finally read this series. This is the Dreamland Billionaire series by Lauren Asher. They're like billionaire brothers and they all have to like complete tasks or something that their grandfather gave them. But I remember being so excited to read it and then just being let down for the first book. That's why I haven't continued it. I'll do these two because same type of vibe. I was so excited to read Twisted Love by Anna Juan and I haven't continued the series because I was also let down by that book. I don't know, it just wasn't for me. I didn't love it. I think they're interconnected standalones, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, they each follow like a different couple. I think I would like this one, but I hear that this one is really good. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Okay, next is The Proposal by Jasmine Glory. This is one of the books that I got when I first was getting into reading and I haven't read it yet. This is another book that I just haven't like heard much about, so I don't really know what it's about. If you know me, I like not really knowing what a book is about before I get into it. Just because I make, I, I feel like it makes it more surprising, more entertaining, you know? But I picked it up. It's a baseball, oh, a sports romance? Sports romance. Maybe. Normal People, Sally Rooney. I think I attempted to read this. I was like 25 pages in and then I was like, ugh, don't know if I'm ready for this. And I think I also saw the like the first episode on the Hulu show. I'm just lacking. I don't have an excuse for not reading this. It's really short too. Again, this is one of the books that I hear like mixed reviews about. It's one that you have to like read for yourself and see where you stand. Oh, and then Archer's Voice. This one is another one of those like sad books, I think. I'm definitely interested in reading this. It's just... I think it's gonna make me cry. And am I ready to cry yet? I don't think so. Okay, next, I, these are our last books, okay? And this is a series. The Fourth Wing by Rebecca Yaras and Iron Flame. I am way late to the game, but I mean, everyone knows what these are about. Dragons. Dragons and enemies to lovers, I think. That could be totally wrong. And like I said, I'm not really in the fantasy mood right now. I've got to read these. I just have to. They're like a staple, you know? Oh, wait, I have one more book that I didn't read yet. Okay, let me get the last book. Funny Story by Emily Henry. I think I got this book the same time I got the rule book. I got it in a video. I think it... Did I get this in the last video? I literally got this in the last video. This is another book that I've heard so much hype on, but don't really know what it's about. And it's Emily Henry, so... I know I'm gonna love it. I love Emily Henry books. See, you can tell the difference when I'm excited for a book and when I don't really want to read a book. This one I'm excited for. Those are all the books on my physical TBR. Hopefully I'll get to some of them sooner rather than later. But now I can update my bookshelves a little bit more because they were getting a little chaotic. That's why I didn't film over there. Okay, it's a little wild. And this little shelf right here, I like to keep for all of my like immediate TBRs. And most of those books I already read already, so they need to go on that shelf. I just need to do a lot of organizing. I hope you guys enjoyed this today's video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss out on any future videos of mine. And I will see you guys on my next video really soon. Okay, bye! Gosh, that's not, that's a lie. That, that's a big lie. I hope I'm not forgetting any. Wallash?